Hello everybody, it is me, Caitlin. Um, I am making my second soap of the day. You guys have probably have, um, have watched my Naked Soap, which is a really quick, basic soap. Um, and now I am starting on my Bay Rum fragrance for my men's soap. So let me grab my Lye Solution and my uh, sifter thing. And these are my soft oils, which are liquid at room temperature, and my hard um, oils and butters, which are solid at room temperature. This lye solution is burning my hand currently, so it's hot. And that is my thermometer I'm using, my own hand. <laughs> it's the most accurate. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and stir this up. Let me move it into the camera shot, I guess. All right, I'm gonna stir this up until it is mostly melted. My house right now is set to 76, I believe. Um, it was 81 in the house when I first uh, measured everything out and a lot of them were already melted down. But I had to turn on the AC at least to cut the, the heat a little bit because I'm sweating. <laughs> Today was a, a really pretty day in Ohio. It's Sunday um, when I'm making this, Sunday night at 10.30. So today was a really pretty day. But I am just melting all of this down. The larger chunks you see are the shea butter, which they take um, the shea butter chunks, I should say. They take a little bit more heat to melt down. Whereas everything else was pretty much melting at 80 degrees in my house. Um, and I was able to just like pour my palm oil and coconut oil straight into here, which is really, really nice. Um, but the shea butter takes a little bit more tension and a little bit more time to kind of stir up. I feel like I do my best soaping late at night because my kids are all sleeping and I don't have to worry about them causing ruckus or being wild. So that is always a good thing. My son is turning, my oldest son Patrick is turning five this month um, on the 18th. And then my second son, he is three. And my third son, he is seven months. So I'm staying pretty busy with them and I've kind of been neglecting my soap making, but I need to get on it because I'm planning on opening up my Etsy shop in August. Hopefully by August 1st, I need to get all of everything in order. I brought all my shipping stuff so that I could ship orders and I got a new printer and um, a new laptop to do all of my business on so hopefully I get everything up and running by August 1st and my Etsy account will just be sprinkled clean soapery so I will give you guys a heads up whenever I release all of these soaps that I've been making the past couple months alrighty I'll bring you guys back when this is all melted all right I'm bringing you guys back because this is taking a little bit longer to melt down than I want it to because I'm impatient so what I'm doing now is I'm grabbing the chunks of shea butter, dragging them to the bottom, knocking out the air bubbles, and then just blending them in so that it gets into smaller chunks and melts down easier. And this will just help disperse that shea butter a little quicker. I'm not gonna be doing a crazy design or anything. So I'm not worried about this speeding up the trace. I just hope that fragrance oil behaves. According to the um, nature's garden, it does. So, hopefully it is a well-behaving fragrance. I would like to get a higher tripod. That way you guys aren't like right here all up in my business. Because sometimes this will come up and hit my you could see my phone right here <laughs> there it is hello everybody 
But that's my phone. I use my phone for everything. It's a Pixel. My editing app is just that. It's an editing app that I use to edit my videos straight on my phone. That way I don't have to go transferring videos over to a computer or anything from a camera. I'm not very tech savvy, even though I am a younger millennial. I used to be really good at hooking a VCR up to any TV, but, and then whenever they came out with DVD players, But now it's just like these computers and all the different things they could do now. I'm just like, oh gosh, I never thought I'd be like that person. I'm like, how do people lose touch with technology? It's because it just is so fast. They're always coming up with new, new technology. And as soon as you get used to one thing, it's old, it's old news. And it's like, Jeez Louise, just let me get used to one thing. But whatever, you gotta get with the times, I guess. All right, so that's good enough for me um, for now. Let me go ahead and just check this real quick. All right, it's not separating, which is perfect for what I need. So my fragrance oil today is Nature's Garden. Mm. Oops, I took the cap off. So let me show you it. Let me put the cap back on. So there it is. The Nature's Garden Bay Rum. That's what it looks like. So hopefully this doesn't seize. If it does, I'll be upset. This is a big batch for me. I don't know what this discolors to if it does discolor. It looks like it's turning yellow, but that's fine. So this looks like it's doing okay so far. Yep, I'm still recording. What's nice too is having the phone like pretty much right by my face is one, I don't need a microphone to talk to you guys and for you to hear me. And also, um, I can see, I'm looking right at my screen. I could look right up at it. It's at my eye level. And I could see everything that I'm doing through the phone. So if anybody ever has any questions about how I film, my setup, all of that, I could always do a video just on that kind of information. I could show you, like, my app that I use, um and all of that for editing. And I can show you the website I use to make my labels and all of that. All right, so this looks really, really good. The soap is nice and warm, so I wanna kinda of get moving here. Uh, maybe, maybe not. Yeah, no, mm, maybe. Let me think. Okay, maybe. I can't make up my mind. All right, so I'm going to do this one. Ooh, and make a mess while I'm at it. Awesome. And then I'm gonna just pour it into this one. Don't pour it too high in these pitchers because when you start adding stuff and try to mix them, it will spill out. So just be aware of your container sizes and whatnot. All right. That is good. I guess I'll use this paper towel I just shoved over here. Okay, I'll throw this in my trash bag. Alrighty, so in this main container here, I am going to mix up some walnut shell powder. And I just want a slight exfoliating bar. This is a men's bar and they tend to like more exfoliating things. So I'm just gonna put a healthy amount of those in there and mix it up and just kind of see what it looks like. Get all of them off the edge. I 
I think that'll be good once I get them stick blended in. All right, that's good. That'll be fine. Right now it's a little chunky. All right, and then in this one, I'm going to do, oh, oh. I was going to do some titanium dioxide, but I didn't pre-disperse it. That's fine. Let's see what this does. I'm going for it straight in with the titanium dioxide. Will I regret this? Maybe. Do I care? No. All right, and then I'm going to add some sea clay to this one here. And I'm just gonna kinda shake it in there like that. And I might go ahead and add, mm, it's getting thick, so I'm gonna leave this one just the base color. All right, so let's do the big one first. I was gonna make sure all of this is dispersed. All right, and I'm probably gonna do it in the pot swirl since this is getting pretty thick. Whoops, hitting the camera. And I'm gonna go straight into this one that's not, doesn't have anything in it just to thicken it up like the rest. And this clay. Whoop. Oh my goodness gracious, I jumped. All the Midwesterners go, oh. Oh. So I'm gonna go ahead and just Stir this in real good. This is that sea clay from uh, Wholesale Supplies Plus. This titanium dioxide I got on um, Amazon. This smells really good. This is just the base color, which is pretty. I love just a basic soap. Ugh. So creamy. And then this big guy here with the walnut shell powder. <sighs> All right, yes, it's looking like an in the pot swirl is my only option. So let's get it done. Hello. I had a stick <laughs> sitting where I set my spatulas. This smells very spicy. Very, um, like there's spices in it. Not spicy, like hot pepper spicy, but spicy. All right, ready? And here's my titanium dioxide. Hello, okay. This is why I love in the pot swirls because you could just kind of slap it all in there and then as long as you could get it in that mold in time, you're golden. All right, and uh, my regular soap. Okay, I'll just slap it in there. I guess I could have just poured it into my mold in layers that was an option. Oh well. I'm gonna tell you guys about my new mold I got too. I got another 
mold I got it on Amazon. It was just a storage box, um, a wooden box that was like a half inch off from my mold that I had custom made. So I bought it. All right, so let's stir this up and just make sure I get it all stirred up in there. Now let's hope that this goes into my mold easily. Otherwise I'll be pretty sad. All right, here is my box that I got on Amazon. Comes with a nice lid and it is like the perfect size for soap. <sighs> All right, let's get it done. All right, well that's stuck. Gotta shimmy it down, that way you don't get any air pockets. All right, come on there, soap. You could do it. Just gotta gotta go for the plop, plop. Okay. Okay. <laughs> this smells so good. Alrighty. So. Let's kind of just come in from this side and get it in there because it's about to turn out to soap on a stick. So no dilly-dallying allowed. All right, so that's as much as I think I want to put in my mold. Crap. Crapola. Let me go ahead and try to do something with this. I want it to hit the edges. This is solid. All right, now it's just cake, I guess. I could ice it. I don't even think I could do any designs in this because of the severity of the <laughs> solidness. <laughs> I could try. Let me try. Oh, jeez. Yeah, okay. I'll just do this. Just put some little designs up in here. Like waves of the ocean, I suppose. Just so it's not looking like I frosted a cake on top, you know? Sometimes I wish people could talk to me <laughs> while I'm baking soap. <sighs> I just get excited when my husband shows some sort of interest in the soap making process. I'm like, see, I know a thing about a thing or two. A little bit, I guess. All right, so that's as good as that top is going to get, I guess. So, let me go ahead and... <sighs> I'll bring you guys down and show you a close-up. And then I will bring you guys back for the cut. There it is. Nice and creamy. This should set up pretty fast. Alrighty, I will see you for the cut. Alrighty, we are back for the cut. Let me get this tape off and I will unmold this out of my new soap mold. 